Today we're going to be looking at a really popular mod called Recount. Recount is a mod that records combat log data and parses it on the fly. Most people use Recount just for damage meters for their own EP purposes, but it's actually a useful tool for doing a lot of other things. So what we're going to be using to configure the mod is this little cog wheel here. Click that and it'll open up a configuration screen. Starting with the data tab, I don't recommend that you mess with any of these checkboxes here. The only thing you might want to add in is whether you record and show boss data. And I like to leave that on because it'll show you basically all the stats for the boss too, not just the uh, player. For instance, we got Jolnir, the Iron Shapers data right here. The filtering and the data deletion you can just modify that to your own preferences. For instance, if you don't want it parsing when you're solo, you just check that off. Data deletion, I would just keep all this stuff checked as well, because basically it's just asking you whether you want it to prompt you to uh, auto-delete the data. You can take the confirmation off if you just want it to automatically reset recount when you join a new raid or zone into an instance, etc. The window tab is just here to modify the look of the windows themselves. You can check which buttons you want to show on your little heads up display here. I would always have this show total bar checked because that's going to show you the total damage of everyone in the raid or the group and all their stats which I'll explain later. The scroll bar auto hide on combat you can show or not show those. It's just your own personal preferences. Appearance, you're going to spend probably quite a bit of time here just making it look good and using some of your own preferences. So I won't get into this. Now for color, you guys might notice that I don't have a, uh, I have a transparent background and to do that you just go into window color selection and increase or decrease the alpha here. So for me I want it to sit flush on top of my KG panel on the bottom and not have a background so I disabled the background on that. So looking at our heads up display here you can see whenever the windows unlocked you have these little sliders that allow you to resize it. You see at the top it displays the current meter which you can right click and change and then it gives the report function, the config window with the cog. This little page allows you to switch fights so if you need to go back and look at a fight from two fights back you can click on that and then the clear. So let's get into the nuts and bolts of the data itself. This is where a lot of people go wrong when, when using this mod. The first thing I see is this giant light blue bar that tells me that I did a lot of damage but it doesn't really tell me how I did that damage. So by mousing over it you can see the breakdown of the top three for everything. Which target I attacked, which spells I used, and so forth. Now if I click on this, it brings up the detail window, and the detail window will tell you even more. For even more detail, you can click on the magnifying glass, which brings you to the summary report. And this is basically a breakdown of all your outgoing and incoming damage. So if you look here, looking at the column where it says misses, and there are zero misses, which is a good thing, that means I've got enough hit rating. If you see any misses down here, you know that you need to uh, increase your hit rating or maybe add a shadow priest or boomkin to the raid for the hit buff. I want to dispel right here now a very common mistake that a lot of DPS are doing by linking the DPS meter. Now the way recount works is it collects all of the data that comes into the combat log and it does record the timestamps but it's not an actual real-time parser. In other words, it doesn't record time. It just records the fact that the events happen. So when it calculates DPS, it's only looking at the active time that you're DPSing. So what that means is I could just sit there spamming Arcane Blast until I ran out of mana and used all my cooldowns. I could sit there the rest of the fight and when my mana came back I could spam Arcane Blast again. And I, even though I'd be really low on the damage done, I'd have a lot of DPS which is bad. So if someone links the DPS charts do me a favor send them to my video refer them and we can put a stop to this madness.
let's take a look at some of the finer uses of recount other than just meter jockeying. So if we right click on damage done it gives us a full list of all the metrics that it has. So if you're a healer you might be looking at healing done or damage taken is a truly useful tool. So if I'm a healer and I'm looking at a boss fight I'm gonna click on my tank here which is gonna give me my detail window and where it says attack summary outgoing click on incoming. Now you can see all the damage during that fight that's going into the tank and all the breakdown. The first thing that I notice here is that there's very little melee damage, it's mostly nature damage. So maybe something like a nature resist totem or aspect of the wild from the hunter would reduce some of that damage. Now easily the most undervalued meter is the death meter and this shows every single death that happened on that fight and if you click on it and you go to the detail window it gives you a breakdown it's gonna give you I believe the last 20 or 15 events that happened to that player damage and healing so if you're this person and you died here and you're wondering why and you're going through and you're looking at this and you see well hey I didn't get heals for nine seconds well then the healer who's also looking at this window says well you're an idiot who stood in the lightning ring and died which is true most people when they die they don't even know how they died they just blame the healer so if you are the healer and you want to show somebody how you died you click on this trumpet right here and it'll give you the report data you probably want to set this to uh, somewhere between 10 and 20 this is how many of events it's going to show and then you do whisper target or whisper and then you just type their name in and hit report and it'll send the death log that shows how they died. Other helpful meters for raid leaders or anyone trying to figure out why you might not be doing so well would include things like dispels, who's doing the dispelling, who's doing the decursing in a fight where it's important, interrupts also, who's doing the interrupting, who's doing their job, if you see one rogue is doing 47 interrupts and everyone else is doing like three or four you know who's slacking off so that's about it for recount I'm gonna go ahead and lock this back into position and lock the windows if you are interested in more advanced combat logging what you're gonna wanna do is get a mod called loggerhead and upload your combat logs to various parsing sites and that's something I'm going to cover in a future video. But for all cursory information and use, Recount is a very valuable mod.